how to reset a build number in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2. Also on this controller, I have a test job already set up and I've run it a couple of times. So we take a look at the job. We have run the job in total three times. Let's assume for a moment that I want to change my next build number to be 42. So how do we go about doing that? First off, you're going to need to be an administrator on the Jenkins controller. So we're going to go over to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, and we're going to go down to Script Console. Now, anytime you're working in Script Console, you need to be very careful in what you do. So again, this is the reason why you have to have administrative privileges on the controller. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to run this command, Jenkins instance, get item by full name. And then we put in our job name. So if this job was in a folder, we would fully qualify the path down to the job within that folder. And then next, we're going to update the next build number, in this case, to 42. So let's go ahead and click on Run. And that takes a split second to run. But how do I know that the value of that next build number is really 42? Well, what I can do here is I can go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to paste in, again, get item by full name, and then get next build number. When I click on Run for this, we can see below that the result is 42. So we've updated the next build number to be 42. We've verified that it's going to be 42. So let's go back over to our test job and let's run it to see if it's actually 42. And we can see as the job runs, the build number is actually 42. Okay, you're looking at this and saying, this is a very contrived example. And yes, it is. But let's say for a moment that you want to go back and have a build number starting at one, even though that you've already run a number of jobs. Well, since job numbers must be unique, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to delete out all of these previous runs and then reset our build number back to one. So in this case, we're going to do our script console just a little bit differently. So we'll go to dashboard, manage Jenkins, script console. So this time, instead of doing everything in a one liner, we're going to be breaking it out to three lines. We're going to grab the item. In our case, it's the job still by saying Jenkins instance, get item by full name, give it the job name. Then we can go through the item, find the builds, and iterate on that and delete each of those builds. So we'd expect build one, build two, build three, and build 42 to all be deleted. And then finally, we're going to set the next build number on that item to one. And for completeness, let's go ahead and add a fourth item and we'll say get next build number. So we would expect the output from that to be one. So let's go ahead and run this. We can see that the result is one. Let's go back over to our test job, click into that. Now you'll notice the status has changed back to not built. So that's a good indicator that we have no builds available. Now, as an administrator, when you're deleting those jobs, if there were any artifacts related to those jobs, those have all been deleted. All of your history has been deleted. All of that is now gone. So you have to be really careful when you're going through and deleting builds. So let's go ahead and click on build now. And we expect the build number to be one. And sure enough, build number right now is build number one. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell. And you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.